do? Subscriber commands now. Oh. Nah. I don't want to update. Quack, 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 quack. Sorry, I was enjoying one last Oreo. Hmm. Wow. I have over 9,000 views on my channel. Woo. Mira esto. I mean, some people have actually looked at my channel. button that button sure we'll, we'll blast everything out tonight why not why not my as well by the way mr ruhan the great has been streaming again if you ever happen to see uh catch him live he's a good buddy great guy. Very much so worth the checkout. Alrighty then. Let's do this thing. We're gonna rock a 120 second ad break. Just so uh, we can get people in without having to uh, see the ads for pretty much the entire stream. Just a little bit at the beginning goes a long way for the stream. Wow. That is like devilishly 3D. Wow. That's kind of creepy. All right, let's see here. Uh, games. Guys! Email. Dudes. Oh, 
Excuse me. Bum ba 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 ba. All right, we are waiting for another uh, thirty seconds. We got one more ad to run, one more ad to run, and then this channel will have a full hour and a half of no ads upon entering the channel, cause I care about you. This is like such awesome indie rock. Alright, there you go. The ad is run. That is done. We are going to hit that play button and hit that. Uh, uh. Mm -mm. Hit that PC stream. There you go. Yeah! 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 So, yes, uh, tomorrow morning we will be back with a ride. Um, it will be a long ride. Uh, probably going to shoot for about an hour and a half. So that means i got to wake up a little bit early so I can actually start at 5. Because if I can start at 5, then I can do the full hour and a half and be done by 6.30. So, yeah, I better wake up at 4.45. Sure. So, tonight, uh. what's that? All right. All right, Ali say. All right, here we go. Ali say literally goes up to my belly button. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm actually really considering figuring out a way how to set up my bike and um, how I can set up my bike and play Final Fantasy at the same time. I was like, all I have to do is just build, I would have to build a, um, a platform about Yatal. And I could do it. I could really realistically do it. Because there was a guy that came in yesterday morning who uh, actually bikes in games at the same time. I actually saw that he was playing Hearthstone, which obviously you don't need the craziest reflexes. I think he actually plays Overwatch while riding a bike. State Stationary, of course. I think we talked about this last night. But I actually watched him today. I mean, he was old in 180 watts, 180, 190 watts while playing Hearthstone. Not bad. So they go forth in accordance with the Griffin's plan. Who is this masked man? Uh, 
The curtain shall rise, and the drama which I am the author, gods forbid me, shall at last be performed. It's a big turtle. All right, let's kick this pig. We got time, and only I can do this, so rock and roll. This isn't right. The Amalgia would never leave this place so poorly guarded. It's a trap! Not willingly, no. Oh, derf. <laughs> ah, it's the saviors of Eorzea. Slow as ever. Did you idiots have the insight track? Twelve. Will you never learn? A little colder tonight. You know you're right. Mayhap it is time for a change of tack. Killing primals, tormenting beastmen, hastening the birth of a new god. It's all a bit much, isn't it? And frankly, we don't have the leisure to do it. But killing the warrior of light, on the other hand, that would soon plunge Eorzea into chaos. Oh boy. One life for one world. A fair exchange. Wouldn't you agree? Um, I don't he die. Wow. Lest you forget, you've more than one opponent. Hmm. Excuse me. Carbuncles, defend me. Whoa. I sense you will offer more than mere target practice, unlike your sister. Oof! Oof! Uh oh. Alize. Derf. Did, did I not tell you, Alphano? I am not the girl I once was. My brother was always the clever one, while my talents lay elsewhere. Uh, As Eorzea's blade cool. of light once stood by my side, now I shall stand at hers and defend this realm with all my might. Now, what the frick class did she become? Let's finish this.
That can't be good. It ends now. What? The chains. You snake. You would betray us as well. He that holdeth fast under his convictions shall never count betrayal amongst his crimes, though all the world may call him villain. My path is unchanged, my creed sacrosanct. This I believe with all my heart. Hey, Wacky. How you doing? But say, Glad to hear you're a day of school and well today. True. What dost thou Excuse believe? Me. That rendering up the souls of thy world in service to the rejoining will grant it salvation? Nay. Nay. By the twelve! Oriange! Mine apologies, Master Alfino. That the brightest light might shine. Duty did compel me to walk in darkest shade. You sweet fool. I was almost willing to believe you had turned against us. Oh, well, good luck with that. Good luck I with those scholarships. A full explanation when this is over. For now, may I assume you have turned your cloak for the last time? Thou mayest, my lady. Aww, yay! Excuse me. By thy leave. Even odds, then. No matter. We'll crush the lot of you in one fell swoop! Well, I already slapped around your uh, spellcasters. Understood. Hearken to me. We only have one chance. One chance. Channel your ether into my blade that I might strike before the mage casts his spell. I cannot do it alone, but together, together we can defeat them. Let's do it. Alfalfa. Warrior of light. Ready, they come. How do I give the ether?
I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. I don't get it. There we go. The ether. Oh, it's not enough. There you go. Click. Get this a hole off me. Come on, almost there, almost there. Shoot, I lost it. Okay, now I know how to do it. We, we can we can do this on normal.
Hello, Darian. How you There's doing? There's a flesh wound. <laughs> Got you your uh, brand new intro. Now, everybody, leave me the frick alone! Yo! What's up, Nightmare? How you doing, Alex? Oh my gosh, who the butt is hitting me? Stop poking me! we go.
like this. Not like this! No! Not like this! Not like this! What a world! What a world! Alize, are you hurt? A touch dizzy, but otherwise fine. Thank you. And there you have it. Our friend is too stubborn to die. <sighs> we are far from finished. Or have you never considered how we came to this world? Crystals? You mean, like the Asians? Just mm -hmm. so. As the Asians flee unto the rift twixt plains with crystals of darkness, so did these warriors come hither with crystals of light. Eloquent, as always. I, like the Asians, we too are beyond death. You cannot defeat that which is eternal. Wait! Such methods as the Asians employ... Long last you see. To save our world, we gave our lives. We were just adventurers trying to make our way. And our job here, a favor there, we never aspired to be warriors of light. But word of our deeds spread, and soon people were calling us heroes. They placed their hopes and dreams on our shoulders and bid us fight for all that was good and right. We fought, and we fought, and we fought until there was no one left to fight. We won. And now our world is being erased from existence. We can carve a place for you in our world. We did everything right. Everything that was asked of us, and still, still it came to this. You of all people should understand. We cannot, we will not falter. We brought our world to the brink of destruction, and now we must save it. I've died before, Arbut. I'm not afraid to die again. Oh, Big Buddy does have a heart. No matter how many times we fall, we must rise and carry on the fight for those we left behind. How can a devout person of darkness be such a sweetie? Oh my. <laughs> Sounds good, well.
who have known the depths of sorrow and embrace the highest sacrifice. Nonetheless, Master Louis Soi, guide my hand, I pray you, as fate's thread spinneth upon this most capricious spindle. So many words. Quickly! Thou must needs invoke the power of thy crystal. Um, dude, I think you could stand down. You don't have to be in ready stand still. What is this place? <clears throat> My subconscious. Such pain. Such sorrow. Oh, my dear children. Wait, isn't this the beginning of Kingdom Hearts? Can't be. Mother Heidelin, hearken unto your children's plea. From two worlds do we gather, and from two worlds do we offer a bounty of light. In this desperate hour, we do beseech your intercession. We beg an audience with the word of the mother, with your chosen Minfilia. Huh? Her? Your cries go not unheard. Nor your sacrifices unnoticed. Though many are lost, there are those we can yet save. Whom I can yet save. Blessed children of the first, the light of your world has grown blinding in its radiance, but it is not yet absolute. I will hie me to your world, and there take unto myself the light which riseth even now to drown it, as darkness once did drown another. Now you deign to answer our prayers? I will suffer this farce no longer! Oops. Bink! As the Athians must serve as instruments of Zodiac's will, so too must others carry out the will of Hydaelyn. But for the boon you have granted her, she has grown strong enough to set me free, that I might serve as her emissary. Your suffering, your sacrifice, your supplications, she has heard all. We will not let the first fall to light. Thank you, Urianger, for bringing everyone here. It fills my heart with joy to look upon the faces of my friends once more. In taking you unto her bosom, I knew that Heidelin had bequeathed to you a sliver of her grace, granting you strength long sought. And in treating with the Asians, I learnt of a star like unto our own, a doomed world of fallen heroes in whom I glimpsed ourselves. 
the first. Full long did I search for a means to save this world, concluding at the last that the answer lay in the power of blessed crystals. And thus did I labor to set light against dark. Yet I knew from the beginning that this salvation would not come without sacrifice. He's a smart cookie. For the instrument of the first's deliverance would of necessity be required to journey thither, there to remain, mayhap forever. Mayhap? You orchestrated all of this not to save her, but to send her away! One life for one world. Such was the bargain, and you the coin, though it were not mine to spend. Have we not walked together in the light of the crystal, and at her bidding borne witness to the joys and sorrows of this land? Each and every one of you knows my heart. If this be the price I must pay, I pay it gladly. You would go alone then? My dearest Thancred, you who have ever watched over me, I am truly grateful for all you have done on my behalf. Aww. As would my father be, your kindness, your compassion, your love. These are your gifts to me and our gifts to them, forming a bond which transcends time and space. Sometimes I forget you are not the child I once knew. No. Make me proud. Long have I watched you from Hydaelyn's side watched as you nurtured and kept safe the light of the dawn. The dark recesses of the world hide untold secrets and dangers. Thus do I entrust to you, Tupsumati. I pray you, Try saying that five times fast. Tupsumati, 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 Tupsumati. Tupsumati. Crystals is all but spent. Perhaps, if there is naught else to be done. Oh. Hear me, servants of Hydaelyn. If you would have us place our trust in you, then I would ask a favor. Take us with you. Take us home. Ugh. We were blind to the truth once, so I tell you this. As one fool to another. Light, dark, it doesn't matter. What matters is how you choose to use them. That sounds like Kingdom Hearts right there. We made our right choice there. and we see what came of it, so please. Forge a different path. Seize a better fate. strange feeling so many times have I watched you depart 
my heart filled with worry. And ever did you return to me in triumph. Someday, when I have found a way to free this star from her sorrow, I promise you I shall repay the favor. Mama Kitty is pleased. All right. Oh, excuse me. Time to talk to Papa Limo. Actually, I 
Hello. Hello. So, made it home okay. Good to hear. <sighs> you know, my shift ended at 10 p.m. <laughs> with the option of staying until midnight. And so, of course, the I, I conduct surveys over the phone. So, right. of course, the survey I'm working, yeah, typically can run upwards of 15 minutes. <laughs> so, of course, a call comes in. Yeah, uh, a call starts right at midnight, right mm -hmm. as it's flipping over from 11.59 to midnight. Mm -hmm. And, of course, it's this very elderly woman that anytime you ask a question, they have to give their life story and give you an answer <laughs> that has nothing to do with the specific uh. answers that I have to take. Oh no! And she has to, yeah. You know, and once I get her redirected back to answering the questions, it's like, oh well, I have to sit and think about it. And I'm just like, I can't show aggression at work. I'm alone in the office, aside from the one supervisor who's behind a wall, but I can't show any aggression. <laughs> and oh my gosh, it's just like, seriously. Now, I don't want you to publicly state what company you work for, but what's the general topic that you're conducting these surveys for? The surveys can be on anything, literally anything. The particular survey that I'm working on or was working on today is of a political nature. Oh, yeah. And it's like the last, okay, no, the, the very last lady I talked to was not in your state. Right. But the last couple surveys that, you know, I got people to, to, to actually, you know, answer questions on were of your statesmen's. Okay. And, yeah, I just, it... And this is actually has nothing to do with people in California, but just in general, why the heck when someone conducting a survey asks you a question, you can't just answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. That gets that gets troublesome sometimes. I, I feel your pain. I feel your I pain. I mean, okay, so I ask about a particular situation and I want your opinion on it. The four available answers you can give. <laughs> Very likely. Uh. Likely. Not. Uh, I'm sorry. Very likely. Likely. Not very likely. Not likely at all. I hate those so answers. I, those answer. Those. That, oh no, no, I understand. I no, understand. I know you understand, but I'm just saying. I, I hate it when questions. Are, they, are you more likely? Uh, but okay here's the thing those last two answers not very likely and not likely at all and so I asked the question their answer not very likely at all okay I can't take that answer <laughs> it is neither not very likely nor is it not likely at all <laughs> not very likely. It is a bastardization <laughs> of both. <laughs> and it's so like, therefore, ah! I, I, therefore, I try to explain that, no, I need one of these answers. Well, I just gave that answer to you. No. I, I do. I do. Will... I do apologize. You did legitimately say not very likely at all. It has to be not very likely or not likely at all. And I mean, it, it, but anyway, <laughs> enough about that. Enough about that. I'm trying to shed that away from me. You want to hear? You want to hear a fun story about Pinky and the Brain references? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, I had, I, I know this is going to sound very odd, but I wasn't your stereotypical Peter Priesthood missionary. Okay. So, there's. There's a couple things about missionaries of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints 
you have mm-hmm. to there there are certain per- perceptives within as they say the bubble a couple a couple things that have definitely been um i mean kind of misconceptions that i had about missionaries is number one when you go out on a mission you're going to have wonderful fantastic spiritual experiences all the time well that's, yeah of course yeah no that's that's how it works right no no really no and then another thing is you work with a bunch of people that really 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 want to be there well, yeah, yeah everybody wants to be there right no not all the time sometimes you're with other missionaries that just kind of got kicked out the door and they had no say in it you know they really don't want to be there then that i think is kind of horrible but yeah i guess i i do agree with you that yeah it does happen it 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 definitely does happen i mean it's happening a lot less now um, I would say since the since the major raising of the bar, you know, the raising of the bar, so to speak, that happened in about two thousand and three ish. It was about mm-hmm. it was like two thousand two, two thousand three. It was like right before I went on my mission. So there were some guys on the mission before the bar. Um, that was kind of what it was called. <laughs> yeah, they didn't really want to be there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I just I when you mention the bar. Okay, that's I, suddenly that's... my mind. No, okay, no, 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 no. Bear with me because I know I'm getting off on a tangent. And Got it. As soon as I say it, we'll just move back. Okay. There is a professional wrestling tag team called the Bar. Okay. Because <laughs> because they are the Bar. They they set that standard, that gold standard, essentially. Uh, okay. But anyway. So moving back. So, so people on the mission. Okay. So then also when you are called to leadership within your mission, that does not mean you magically care about every single missionary and you are the most compassionate elder in the mission because you have this mantle of responsibilities and you have the utmost care and compassion for all the missionaries you serve with. Of course. You see, the problem is I have a BS meter that is really good. I have always had a really good BS meter, and I can completely tell when a uh, mission uh, zone or district leader. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and for those of you that aren't members of the church and don't have no idea about missionaries at all, so missionaries are divided up into uh, small groups called districts, uh, larger groups called zones, and then a larger group called a mission. So I had I had district leaders that were really good. You know, they really cared about everyone. Uh, they, they cared about the investigators we were all teaching. They cared about the missionaries. There were other ones that were like, oh, I'm a zone leader i care about people no you don't dude no 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 you don't no you don't so anyway no no bro no no bro no bro um so my problem was i didn't necessarily respect those that were willing to put in the work to deserve your respect so i had a lot of fun and One of the things that drove me absolutely bonkers was every week we had a district meeting, and that was when our district group of elders got together, and we all talked about who we're teaching, have a little training on maybe a a technique of teaching, talk about one of the discussions we usually teach. And so we would have a a chance to talk with with our district leader directly, talk about the people. And inevitably, they would always say, So, elders, is there anything I can do for you this week? Is there anything I can do for you? You know, and it's just kind of like, no. It's one of the times that you ask knowing that no one will take you up on the offer. Yeah, yeah. It it just just felt like a throwaway question. It it, It just had no real compassion to it a lot of the times. 
So, so I... I, 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 hopefully this is going the direction where you're like, okay, let's actually figure out a way to answer that question. Mm -hmm. So when they ask it, you say, okay, well, here's this and this and this, and could you do this and this? And then no. Jaws just dropped to the floor. Dang it! That would have been awesome. Well, that did it. Well, so um, so I, I started <laughs> I started thinking about it, and I thought of other random throwaway question lines, and that famous line from Pinky and the Brain kept popping in my head. Oh, Brian, well, what are we going to do tonight? So that's kind of that's kind of what where where that where my mind started the going, and I started thinking. Night, Pinky. <laughs> Try to take over the world. However, I went in a completely different direction. I <laughs> decided to move in the direction of the Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Pinky? I I'll think, think so, Brian. Brian but but <laughs> if I won't burlap, but I think so, Brian. But burlap chafes me so. Oh, man. Let's just say whatever they go, they go, Elder, now Elder Pharaoh, is there anything we can do for your companion? I think so, but I don't think goldfish like swimming in battery acid. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, Brain, but if they called them sad meals, no one would buy them. I think so, but where are we going to get all the rubber pants? <laughs> <laughs> I think so, Brain, but me and Pippi Longstocking, what would the children look like? I think so, but how are we going to get all that cheese? <laughs> So I would do that. I did that for like three weeks straight. <laughs> three weeks straight, I came up with the most off-the-wall answers. <laughs> and, yeah. then, and then, like the fourth week, they caught on. And they go, so is there anything we could do for you? I think so, but shut up, sit down. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> And then, but nice. then, the ultimate, the ultimate was, I had, I had an MTC companion. My MTC companion, we went to the same mission, and I wound up serving with him about halfway through my mission. He is from <laughs> the, I have talked about him before, he is from the middle of effing nowhere, Utah, where he said, quote, my city only has one pop machine. Nice. I, this is this is the dude. This is the dude that would drive his truck up into the mountains to see how long it took him to get stuck. <laughs> so he is he is country 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 to the uh, to the max. So then oh, there was where is it where is it where is it? There was one day. There was one day where we were we were in our little thing and I, and then they said they said um they said so so elders um what are you going to do this week and he just goes we're going to find a fire department <laughs> i'm just like huh <laughs> it's like I, what that's it's just, you, you you just spontaneously came up with some off the wall statement what I mean, he he didn't he didn't like like couch me. He didn't give me any forewarning. He was just like, "We're gonna find a fire department." <laughs> and then he told me the story, though. He told me the story. What was funny, though? <laughs> so there is this. So every once in a while, we had we had a couple. We would have a couple sisters um, in our in our district. And apparently, my companion was speaking with one of the uh, the sisters, and um, they were talking about how they found they found a fire a fire station, and apparently they started teaching the firemen. <laughs> the sisters did. Yes. So we were like, "Oh, really? You were teaching the firemen? Uh huh." <laughs> And they were receptive. Uh huh. No, we 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 were totally just messing with him. But apparently, he took it to the next level and and totally poked the sisters <laughs> by saying they were gonna find we were gonna find a fire department. Wow. So yeah. So 
So Much to this day, man, to this day, man, Elder B, Elder B, man, he's my homeboy, even though I haven't spoken with him since we got back from the mission, because quite frankly, I don't think he's got internet out there. I'm not going to lie. I mean, if he's only got one pop machine. And one street light, and his dad runs the post office. <laughs> yeah. Or I think he is the post office. You may take comfort in the knowledge that those who are not are carrying on the fight. Dude, Elder B, I salute you, man. One of the best companions I ever had. Oh, no, he was the one. He was the one. I told you this one before. He was the one where we walked by the drug deal. He goes, well, that's the first time I've seen the drugs and the money. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, and there was another day we heard a couple pops. He goes, well, that was gunshots. <laughs> We're like, yay, gunshots in the ghetto. Yay. <laughs> yay. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. As Papalima rightly said, so, so we just uh, we just had the big old uh, slapper. The what? The confab. Confab? What does that mean? Uh, a, a, a congregation of people who are fabulous. I don't know. No. Oh. It's a word. I heard it at some point. <laughs> we had, um, I just did the whole battle against the Warriors of Darkness. Where, um, Alize. Alize totally busted out her sort of at bad A Uri. Mm hmm. And I hope that the scions might continue. Oh, she a uh, red mage now? Individuals driven Maybe. By individual I guess. Provided well, let's see. Wait. Red mage was added in Stormblood, I think. I the so if this is the build up to Stormblood, they may have added her a bit early. Well, they may have introduced the concept. The idea is not yeah. Because she totally summoned a sword out of her book. So. I shall resume my research of the primals and the elder gods of Eordia. Should anyone have need of my findings, you need only ask. I should be glad of your continued assistance. Well, my main purpose in coming here was to see the signs of the seventh storm restored and my dear friend found. Nevertheless, having involved myself in your struggles, I feel compelled to see them through to the bitter end. Okay, so let's see. You are at the Waking Sands. No. Um, the base You're after at the, that. The Rising Stones. Yes. Uh-oh. So I come home, and I have Chatbot actually running in the background of my computer. Uh-huh. And I see that there are two people that have now followed my stream while I've been away. Ooh. Have I ever Can told you about the doghouse? Um. I take it that's not the uh, Hoover brand vacuum commercial they did for the Super Bowl a couple years back? No. Okay. Okay. So, in my gaming history, I used to play a game called Star Wars The Old Republic. Right. Maybe you've heard of it. I've heard of it. So villainously the raid group that I was in now, now, on Star Wars Shield Republic. Oh, right. Was that was your group. That was called Doghouse. Yes. Okay. I Basically, I vaguely We all know we're in the doghouse. We know what we did to get there. Right. Okay. Yep. I remember and you talking about that. So with we might protect one of the guys in the group is uh, actually he's the DM in the D&D game that I'm in right now. Like actual meat space, real live Right, like right. Around the table. Uh huh. And so he <laughs> and his girlfriend. <laughs> well, as opposed to the cyberspace. Well. I know, but the fact you called it meat space that made me giggle. Minfilia and Moonbreeder both. This shall be my solemn charge. Oh, by the way, so is it a spoiler for me to ask if Minfilia is permanently never going to get a body of flesh and blood back? It's never a spoiler to ask. 
Right. To get the answer, I... There's still the matter of the Griffin and the Amalja. I guess it could be a spoiler to say that I do not know the answer to that because at this time I have not seen her get a flesh and blood body back. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't. In the way you would think it. Well, I was going to say, I can't ask you this question because you haven't played Fall Fantasy XIII yet or any of the, the trilogy or any other Final Fantasy XIII trilogy. I was going to say, it seems to me that um, Nymphilia has turned into lightning. Okay. Cause and I have no context for that. So I know. That's that's my yeah. problem. So what you just said, I have no context. <laughs> yeah, because um, so the what happens in the game is lightning wants to save her sister. So then, like, at the end of the game, she winds up de making a deal with the god of – female god of that whatever the crap so. she was this called. You propose, and she you? winds up becoming her personal knight slash b i y i y i y i y And okay. that's pretty much – that sets up Fall Fantasy 13 2, and then Lightning Returns is pretty much Lightning saying, um, F this game, I want out, and uh, she winds up getting out. So it, it kind of seems like Vinphilia kind of willingly became um, Heidelin's mouthpiece or something or other. That's kind of what I'm gathering. Okay. Have you seen the movie Dogma? No. But I will have no titles. <laughs> we are we are grasping at references to try and explain the current situation and neither. Because I I was going to say that if you were to watch or be familiar with the movie Dogma, she's Alan Rickman. Yeah, I know the movie exists. I know nothing about the movie. Because at least as near as I can Mother understand it and I remember it, part, uh, she is basically the finances, the voice of Heidelin. I would not have it any other way to talk. Right. She is, and she went and to we the, the first, game. right? What now for the okay. With the what, Warriors of Dark. So what is what is technically the first? I've I've seen that reference a couple of times. I don't remember okay. understanding the full definition of it. Okay, so basically, way back at the beginning, there was the world. There was the source. Okay. Then there was Zodiac and Hydaelyn, and they had a little spat with each other. Okay. As a result of this spat, there were 13 parallel worlds generated splintered off okay shards of the source got it and so the first is the first the of those 13 worlds and the path before okay got which it. are but a reflection but of the source got it the now you and eorzea as we know it are on the source The Warriors of Dark were on the first, and they were trying to stop a cataclysm from occurring on the first, which would completely wipe out Got it. that world. Because if that were to occur, its its aether, its ether, would be reabsorbed back to the source, as it has occurred with, I believe. Five or six of the other 13 worlds? Okay. So yes, there was 13 shards, 13 worlds. One got completely destroyed and is called the Void now. One world's hero. Which is where black mages get their power, I think. One world's <laughs> lost. 
Another world here. And then some. Hold on, hold of... on, hold on. Conclusion, conclusion when part, conclusion part. One, hold that thought. Holding. There is life. There is life. Continue that thought. Come on, Mr. Narrator. Where'd you go? My friends, if I may, I would ask that you entrust Tupsimati to me. Clouds gather upon the horizon, and as Master Louisois' disciple, I would keep it close at hand. Don't give it to the midget. Don't trust the midget. Thank you. I shall guard it well. Why would you not trust Papalimo? It's a trap. There is cause to hope. For every ending, every parting, marks a new beginning. Are you saying it was not a good decision? Obviously, I don't know yet. Whoa! He went piccolo on everyone! Oh, wait, that's the real Griffin. Brother. Ooh, I shall follow her emissary. Ooh. Uh, it's two peas in it. Oh, those are eyes. Yes. Why are you giving me these black eyed peas? You know what eyes they are. I know what eyes they are. I was just screwing around. And you know how much of a fanatic the Griffin is. Uh-huh. Just don't put them in your butt pocket. They kind of make you a dragon. Grr. Arr. Grr, baby, grr. Wow, tonight is really cutscene night, isn't it? Yeah. So this is the end of 3.3, .3, yeah? Or is this the end of 3.4? Um, you're getting close. There's still a little bit more. <gasps> oh! Reject Virgil's back! from the uh, Devil May Cry series. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No retreat. No surrender. Achieve and unlocked. Ah, oh, and I did that whole thing without my proper equipment on. Yay!
you know, I think we're going to get to the point where Operator's going to come back and he's going to be like, you were supposed to be doing the raids. I know, I know, but I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do the dub raids. Well, I mean, I think so long, I mean, there will be a, sp a specific point in which you realize, okay, this is moving into S Stormblood territory. We will make sure to have you stop and go back and do Alexander. Okay. Oh, hi. Hi. Minstrel buddy, Wait. sing me a song. You're the minstrel man. Strum me a song tonight. For you look like a programmer. And I think you're a dope. And I don't know. I, are, are you sure that's I the song you want to sing? Yeah, I'm. I'm not. I'm not feeling it tonight. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I. I just wanted to unlock uh, Nidhog. Oh yeah. Since I'm here anyway. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Blum. Blum. Nope. My blood does not quicken hearing your awfully bad recounting of the tale. But hey, you gave me 450 bucks for it. Now shut up. Shut up. There you go. So what's next? Uh, hold up one second. Let me let me look at something real quick. Okay. Um, technically, I'm supposed to wait for her at the Diamond Forge. Um, problem is, though, it is 1030. Um, and, yeah. I think, I think this is a much better place to stop. Unless you can think of something that's maybe about 10 minutes. Uh, nothing I can think of. Yeah, I I really can't think of anything personally. Okay. Um. Yeah, cause I don't know where the next step. I don't know where the next step of the. Uh, Wait, what's the uh, what's the name of the quest? Right below your map. Okay. Tidings from Garibanya. Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tidings from okay. Garibanya, that's the That's the name of the next let's see. That is No. That is 3.5. Oh, so I'm done with 3.4. Yes. Ah. I should have changed my thing. Okay, so we're done with 3.4. We're on to 3.5. How much more until uh, Stormblood? Uh, let me ch just close that. Let's see this. Okay, it looks like
Looks like five quests in 3.5, four quests in 3.56. Okay. One of which is doing a dungeon called Balesayer's Wall. Okay. Alright, so where where is the next one for Alexander? Uh, let's see. Alexander... Because, I mean, I could at least get the first step on that one. Okay, so what do you have unlocked on Alexander? Um... Hit you. Yeah. Um, Burden. I think Burden's the last one that I've done. Okay. Burden of the Father... Okay, so next we have... Okay, well, basically, you have the fist, cuff, arm, and burden of the father. Yes. So the next will be the fist, cuff, uh, the fist, cuff arm, and burden of the son. Okay. And so that... Let's see. Do you have a quest called... Uh, let's see. Actually, it says rearmed. Um, overgrowing ambition. Rearmed. Yes. No, does not appear so. Looks like, looks like that's probably the next one I'm targeting. Okay, so that is in the Dra Dravanian hinterlands, which I think would be Idleshire would be the closest aether aether point. Okay. Because we got this unconscious adventurer here. It would actually be outside of Idleshire. Okay. You are looking for a NPC called Round Rock Round Rocks. Round Rocks. <coughs> Oh, I think I know where that guy is. Yep, there it is. There you are. All right. <clears throat> okay, so we will we'll leave it here then. So time to log out. So, and I hope I can get home at an earlier time tomorrow night. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Um, that, that it was all it was all just cutscene, 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 cutscene. So hey, but if cutscenes are good, then all right, yeah, yeah, solid. So um, I will be back tomorrow morning. Um, tomorrow morning is going to be a long ride. Um, we'll try and, we'll try and go, try and go about hour, we'll try and go an hour and a half on the bike. It'll be long nice. ride tomorrow morning, because I am surfing on Saturday morning. Woohoo! I'm excited. I'm excited. My first surf trip of the year, um, uh, my buddy, my buddy who's a longtime surfer, um, I go out with him. I'm gonna try and get my other buddy who just 
got a board. He was given a seven-foot board from a buddy of his. Um, he's mm-hmm. never really surfed, but he has a he has a decent seven-footer. So eh, you know, could be fun. I'm definitely yeah. I'm, de- I'm definitely taking my fish out. I'm definitely taking my eight-foot fish because I don't know what the conditions are going to be like. I just I guess inherited my brother's seven-footer, um, but it's pretty thin. So unless you have a decent sized wave, you're, you're not getting much out of it. Um, so my eight yeah. foot, my eight foot fish, it's about three quarters of an inch thicker. So it's way more buoyant and it floats my big old butt. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yep. I, I will say though, I have ridden an 11 foot tank before. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's a tank. <laughs> <laughs> the the fun thing See, about I, I I know nothing about the the longer the board the easier it is to ride just in general uh-huh. um yeah I was in I was on Kauai oh shoot was that like eight eight ish years ago eight to ten years ago and yeah. um, that was when my sister's in-laws used to live on Kauai so he is a large individual and um, he had an he had an 11 foot board so it's about 11 feet long and it's yeah. about two and a half feet wide this thing is a beast <laughs> and the and the and the cool thing about having a lo- a larger board is that you don't need that much like like for most short boards have i mean you have watched surfing footage correct oh yeah i've i've seen surfing yeah right so you see the dudes in the short boards the wave is just crashing over they pop up on the board and just ride that puppy down so mm-hmm. long boarding is a completely different animal because since the board is bigger you got to catch the wave a lot earlier in its formation because if you, with a 10-foot board, try and catch the wave at the same point a 5-foot board is catching the wave, you're more than likely going to be in a world of hurt because the wave is getting too steep, your nose dives in, you get catapulted over your board, things go bad. And yes, I am speaking from experience. <laughs> <laughs> so... Things yeah. get things get bad every once in a while when you get catapulted off the front end of your board. So anyway, so so with an 11 foot board, you're able to catch the waves at least a good 30 to 40 feet back from all the little pukes with short boards. So so there was one point. There was a father and his son. They were both riding. The son was probably on a four and a half foot board. The dad was on maybe a five and a half foot board so i'm i'm paddling like crazy you know and i'm and this is height of swimming career at this point so my arms are just ripped i'm just i'm just barreling down on this on this 11 foot tank and i just pop i'm just i need like two more paddles and these guys like come straight in front of me i'm just like everybody move <laughs> so then so that i just people i just pop i just popped up turned the board and start riding the wave and it was just it was just pretty funny but it was, um it, it, it was glorious yep so so um so with my current eight foot board the nice thing is, is it floats me just about as well as my sister's 10 footer um mm-hmm. but with it being only eight feet it weighs a heck of a lot less and um and I like the uh, the fin configuration on it. I like it a lot better than the board my sister has. She has one big fin in the center. I have four smaller fins. I d- I just feel like it gets me more grip on the wave, so I can turn easier. I just like it. I I got I I have okay. a lot of I have people that I see that um a quad setup isn't that typical. Usually you have a you have what's called a thruster setup, which is three fins. So you have two smaller fins on the outside, one larger fin and larger. So the outside fins are maybe two and a half inches thick or two and a half inches deep. Yeah. 
And then the center one's probably about three and a half to four inches deep. So your your center fin gives you the, mo- the most amount of traction, and then the side fin gives you a little bit more. Like, literally, it is your traction on the wave. If you didn't have those, you just slip right off the wave. And I've had yeah. it before where I've lost traction with my fins, and you just you just fall right on the wave. You're just like, oh, oh dang it. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm excited though. I'm excited for well, my surf trip, and I don't have to totally get my board all set up. It's ready to go, so uh, I'm happy about that. Well, that's good. That's yeah. good. Yep. So I I want you to go out there and and look at those waves. I'm gonna wreck it. <laughs> I'm gonna wreck it. <laughs> nice. Were you hearing any of the other sound drops that I was playing? Yes. Yes, I was. Okay. Uh, I was trying to think of which ones you played, but yes. Yes, I've I've heard the ones that you played. So how do you how do okay. you do that? Oh, is that or is that a topic I, internet magic. Okay. Well, we'll we'll discuss that another time. I need to get to bed. <laughs> so. Internet magic, my friend. Now go to bed. <laughs> All right. All right, real Satan, I will go to bed, real <laughs> Satan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it for me tonight for Realsies. Um, I will be back tomorrow morning. We're going to be on the bike doing a nice long ride. We'll probably ride for about an hour and a half. Um, it's going to be a free ride, so um, so we'll we'll actually uh, partake in the uh, sprints, uh, hill challenges, whatever Zwift is going to throw at me tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night with more Final Fantasy fourteen, and then Saturday night. I'm bringing out the uh, PS4, and we are going to play Left Alive. Remember, anyone is welcome to join the chat on Saturday night. It is full MST3K edition. I understand y'all are going to be watching the footage about two and a half, three seconds behind when I see it here. But we all can watch the footage, and you guys can mock as you see fit. So... I it, it it was it was panned as the absolute worst game in 2019 by multiple YouTube uh, gaming news outlets. So we're we're gonna be in for a treat. <laughs> oh yeah! And I only paid six bucks for it. So whatever it whatever it happens to be, I'm totally fine with paid six bucks for it. <laughs> Just to say, I owned the worst game of 2019. <laughs> so anyway uh see y'all tomorrow morning starting at about five o'clock pacific 5 a.m pacific time uh tomorrow night will be standard time uh good night isaiah norris wherever you are, where you are. that doesn't work no no that doesn't Sorry. work good night isaiah norris wherever you are all right good night everyone good night <laughs>